hello guys welcome back in this video we want to look at list indexing and slicing list indexing also possess all the functionalities of string indexing with some extra options for us to use all right so if you want to access the first element in names list we can do this as we saw in strings the first index starts from what zero to the length of the list if it was string of the string so if we run this we are expecting that right as cool as that but let's look at this even list we have two four five eight ten obviously five is not an even number but with list we can actually change some part of it but in strings we saw that strings are immutable so we can't change part of it but with list we can do this even and then we assess the index of that number that we want to change what's the index of five here to be zero one two right so we put the index here and then we say we want to change it to six and if we print even now let's see what we are getting when we run this we are getting two four eight six so that is the extra functionality that list has that string do not have so let's quickly look at list slicing we can do everything that we did in strings too so if you want to let's say new list equals and we want to make a copy of the even list we can do something like this as we saw in the string slicing and then if we print new list here let's see what we will get we are having the same thing so all the functionalities of string slicing also works in list slicing we can also check the length of a list using the length function as we saw in strings all right so if we bring this one here and we do this and we run this one we are getting five that is we have how many items one two three four five if you want to repeat the items in a list by a certain number of times we can do it this way so new list and let's say we want to repeat the items by two if you run this you will get two four up to ten then it starts again so that is how we can repeat items in a list we can also slice some parts of a list and then make it represent or assign new values to it so let's take my list for example if we want to change true false to some different values we can do it this way my list then what is the index of true and false all right or up to let's say john the index of true will start from two right then up to where let's say four and then we equate it to the new values that we want but you have to make sure that whatever that you are slicing what you put here will be of equal length all right so if you try to say here to be three four and let's say five let's print my list now and see what we will get so if we run this so let's look at what we are getting here what this means is that we are starting the index from index 2 and what's the index of 2 here is true right so we have changed true to 3 and then we have changed the index of 3 which is false to 4 but probably we wanted to change john to five but we still have john here and then the five is here but what we should know is that for slicing the starting point end and then step over right but we saw in strings that the end 
index that you always provide is minus one so that value that we have provided here won't be part so we have actually sliced only two values but we have provided three values but since lists are mutable it just push what we have there to the right hand side and place the five there so if we actually wanted to change john to five then we should make the index plus one okay and then if we run this we are getting two three four five so we have changed john to five by the way as i said all the functionalities of string indexing also work in list indexing and slicing so we wouldn't waste much time here if you want to revise or know anything about list slicing and indexing you can always look at what we did in string slicing and indexing so we will use them as we need them in our journey bye bye for now see you in the next video where we talk about list methods